This weekend marks the unofficial start of summer, and it also kicks off house hunting season. So how do buyers successfully navigate today's real estate market? Here with tips is one of the top 100 realtors in the United States, Rogers Healy of Rogers Healy & Associates. Rogers, welcome to the show. There is no better time to be talking to you. So many people right now are abandoning the apartment way of living, and they want their own home. I am one of those people, so I cannot wait to hear. Uh, first of all, where, where should people be looking right now to buy? A house. What are the hot spots where they should be going to? So it, it, the places that we've seen the last couple of years that have started to trend up. First of all, it's the places that are like many versions of large cities. So like New York City, the many version of New York City is Charlotte, North Carolina. People love Charlotte, North Carolina. Great job growth. It's a financial hub of the country. Bank of America is headquartered there. Other mass, massive institutions are there as well. I love Atlanta. I love Nashville. I love my hometown of Dallas, Texas. And I love cities like Spokane, Washington, and I also love Charleston, South Carolina for my picks, for, for places that are gonna stay steady the next few months. So yeah, I think places you can get some land, you can get a view, and you can actually live for a quarter of the yeah. cost of cities like Miami, LA, New York, they're gonna continue to do really well. Yeah, wanting some land and just to be able to go outside and breathe some fresh air is, is a high priority on, on many people's lists, myself included right now. So I want to ask yes, you, though, because I am shopping for a house right now. I could definitely use all the help I could get in terms of advice. So what are some of your tips for people right now who might be shopping? Yeah, sure. So I think the first thing for people that are looking for their house, whether it's the house or the 50th house, if you're going to live there, buy the house based off of you loving the house. Make it your home. Don't worry about the appreciation. Don't worry about turning a big profit in two years, three years, et cetera, because then it becomes a business decision. And if you think about it, you know, a lot of what I do for a living, the, one of the biggest things I broker emotions. So we want people to feel at home. So when you walk into your house, you just kind of have that, you know, sen sense of peace and sense of being at home, not how much money am I going to make when I sell it. The next thing is location. You guys have all heard this, but the number one rule of real estate is location. So that's going to trump every other sense of you know of preference and then you also have to act quick right now I'm, I'm coining a phrase called sprummer we didn't really have the spring market this year so we're having the spring market and the summer market condensed into just a few months which means we're going to have a lot of activity like you said there's going to be people coming out of the woodwork that were sitting at home you know whether it's because of quarantine or whether they're just saving their money so we're going to have more buyers now that we've had all year so act quick and the next thing is don't let a few thousand dollars change the deal, right? Over the course of a mortgage, especially, a few thousand dollars is really going to be maybe a cup of coffee a week or maybe even a month. So, and then my last piece of advice is hire a great real estate agent, whether it's someone like me or one of my cohorts in a city like New York or Chicago, wherever it is, make sure to hire somebody who has credentials, yeah. who has education and knows what they're doing. Yeah. Rogers, thank you so much. I'll definitely be keeping those tips in mind. Appreciate it. Yeah.